Well, should we stop fighting COVID? <laughs> uh, big question for today, I think. Um, well, ever since the uh, COVID epidemic began, the, the trade-off between protecting the public from this disease and seriously damaging the economy, that, that's been the core debate. Uh, and the balance uh, appears to be shifting, certainly here in the UK. Uh, the statistics are improving, the death rates are diminishing, uh, strain in hospitals seems to be lessening. So it seems like it's now time to enter into a serious discussion about whether to abandon most of the remaining precautions. Uh, some say it would be foolish because of the overall public health implications, while others insist we simply must take radical steps to save the economy. I, I look as usual at both sides. First of all, how about those who say, uh, y yes, we should. We should uh, definitely throttle back on the restrictions. Well, the principal argument in favor of relaxing restrictions lies in the urgency of returning to the normalcy of both work and recreation in the, in the workplace and in hospitality venues especially. Um, and for some, uh, it's had an unacceptable impact on their lives. We, we simply must respond to this life-destroying problem. Now, we are in much better shape now, given the extent of uh, coronavirus vaccinations, the extent of scientific and medical knowledge that we've amassed, uh, uh, our understanding and our experience of the virus, uh, the treatment protocols that we use, the track and trace system, and the uh, availability and use of mass community testing. We're in much better shape. Furthermore, the public are clearly able to take uh, personal responsibility responsibility for managing their own risks and balancing their the risks, uh, they can do so themselves proportionally with family, friends, and social interactions. Let them. It's a question of freedom of choice. And in any case, we are getting to the point where herd immunity will begin to protect us from any further devastating outbreaks of disease of the sort we've experienced in the past two years. So let's just uh, back off and, and regain our lives and, and our freedom to do what we want with them. Okay, what about those who say, no, we should not, uh, we should not relax any restrictions? They would say, look, COVID still represents a real and lethal threat uh, to the physiologically disadvantaged, like the elderly and those with underlying health conditions, especially diabetes and immune suppressed uh, conditions. It, it would just simply be morally unacceptable to throw them under the bus. And that's also true with the morbidly obese. They're in the same position. Uh, many organizations, both public and uh, sector and uh, private sector, corporate uh, organizations and so forth, they require vaccinations for their employees. Uh, they know how important it is. Uh, they wouldn't make such de decisions rashly. And the World Health Organization says there are more variants coming and that we, we can't afford to relax. We must stay alert and vigilant. So we must do everything we can to fight this disease. If, if for no other reason than to keep the schools and hospitals from closing for lack of staff. Um, and oh, I think those are pretty good arguments on, on that side for keeping going. Well, what's my take? How do I come out in all of this? Well, my view is that as, as countries transition over time to managing COVID as an endemic disease, the world uh, may reach a long-term state of disease prevention, similar to that seen with the flu, with annual or twice yearly booster doses. That seems to be what's happening now in a number of places. It's just a question of time, uh, really, before it's, it really is safe. All we have to do is reach consensus on timing and proceed accordingly. And at the same time, however, it probably makes sense to continue individually I think I will, <laughs> with some version of mask wearing, hand washing, and social distancing, simply protect ourselves from further variants and, and from the flu and all the other little bugs that are traveling around and always do. And for heaven's sakes, take all the vaccinations and boosters that are on offer. Um, are you listening, Novak? <laughs> Now, the difference is that soon it will be a question of individual choice rather than a set of rules imposed by the state. 
that's how I come out. I hope you liked it. Uh, I think it's a pretty reasonable and sensible position. So if you did, please do the usual. Give me a like, subscribe, comment, uh, notify, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.